M0FXB, welcome back to my ICOM 705 videos. Today we're using Wi-Fi to connect to my iPad Mini, which is the, the latest 7th generation, using a program called SDR Control. Now you do have to pay for it and it's not a low price. The, the lowest price option is if you use it on your iPhone, but on an iPad it costs a bit more. Now I'll put the links in so you can uh, discover that. Now the settings are important to get these two to connect. So let me just go through them with you. You can see you've got full control here and it will work vertically or horizontally. I like it horizontal, you get the full effect. Now there's some hidden little secrets with this software because with one touch you can do FTA, one touch and it sets everything up for you. Now it's, trying to, it's quite bright, it's, it's quite a bright screen but, and we can transmit as well. Now I'm going to do a separate video showing that but I don't want to show that now. We press waterfall and then we go back to the usual display. This is timed out because I haven't set the display not to time out. Or you can just use the radio. Tap the radio in the normal way. 7 megs. Change to lower sideband. We can use the radio and it all follows as you can see. So let me just show you my settings for Wi-Fi. Let's turn this down a bit. Now, of course, it sounds lovely on the iPad. Uh, the speaker's a lot nicer on this iPad mini than on the 705. So you just go menu, like so, and go to set. And you need to just make sure your Wi-Fi is on. Go down to Wi-Fi set and go up to the top. Just tap it and it will turn on. Then you want connection type. It needs to stay station, okay? Station, connect to network. Like tap that and then just tap it again. I'll, it'll probably disconnect now because I'm changing the settings. Like so, let me just show you. Then go down, connect station settings, and just take note of this IP address. Now, to connect to your Wi Fi, when you tap access point, it's going to come up. You put in your, you know, tap the one you want, and then just connect in the normal way, and you'll see that. Wi-Fi appear. Now remember, it's it's not the Wi-Fi that's got a white square around it. It's the Wi-Fi that looks just like your your home one would look. Go back to menu, set wireless LAN. Now, now keep going down and go down to remote settings. And just I put that on. These are default: five thousand and one, five thousand and two, five thousand and three. Uh, but in network user, this is important, forget the the last two, just remember that it is an IC705 network user and create a username, network user ID, M0FXB and password, you decide, yeah? And I put network user when I administrate and I put yes. Okay, I'll go back, back, just make sure there's nothing else. And it might need to reboot to connect and then I recommend you reboot it. Now if we just disconnect here, so on this bit here, uh, if we go to the one I've set up, that's that one there and we go edit, all you do is put in that same IP address that you saw on the 705. The port default is 5000, I haven't changed that, the title I haven't changed that, but then just use your username and password that you did and click save. And then providing you've set it all up, when you hit connect, it all just comes to life. So that's it really, I thought I'd show you that. And um, we're going to do more videos on this. And I've done previous videos on this, but I haven't done them with the latest iPad. And because the FTX One is coming out, I thought, oh, let's look at the things that you cannot do on the FTX One that you can do on the 705. Thanks for watching, more videos to follow.